Hi, my name's Lisa. I am a Community Outreach Coordinator at the Vancouver Fraser Port Authority. I'm here in beautiful Coal Harbour today, and we're going to talk about how the port and the mining community connect. A port is the place where ships come to load and unload their cargo. We live in Canada's largest and busiest port. There are over 3,000 ships that come in and out of the harbour waters every single year. Where is the Port of Vancouver located? It's not just in one location. The Port of Vancouver is Burrard Inlet, English Bay, Roberts Bank area, and up the Fraser River. All of that water makes up the Port of Vancouver. So when I talk about the port, it's a lot of different places. The Port of Vancouver trades with many different countries all over the world, over 170 world economies. Some of our top trading partners are the United States, China, Japan, South Korea, and India. Goods moving through the port are called imports and exports. Imports come into the port, exports leave the port, they exit the country. We have five different business sectors at the Port of Vancouver. They're really easy to remember. They start with A, B, and C. We have automobile, brake bulk, container, cruise, and bulk. 65% of port volume is bulk ships coming in and out of the harbor waters. Bulk ships stop at the terminal. The terminal is the place where the goods are loaded or unloaded on and off of the ships. Bulk ships are different because items are poured inside of the ship. They're poured into the hold of the ship. The top four exports for bulk are coal, grain, sulfur, and potash. Coal, sulfur, and potash are all related to the mining industry. There are two types of coal. The first type is thermal coal, and that's used for heating and electricity. The second type is metallurgical coal, and that's used to make steel. So the steel in the ships, for example. Do you know where Saskatchewan is? That's where potash comes from. Potash is an industrial grade salt. It's mainly used as fertilizer to make our lawns and gardens grow. Sulfur is another item that moves through the port. And it is bright yellow. There's some beautiful piles in the inner harbor. It has over 500 different uses. It's used in a lot of soaps and detergents that we use every day. It's in fireworks, it's in matches. Sometimes when we go to the doctor to get medicine, it's in that medicine that we get as well. Mining goods arrive at the port and at the terminal by train, by road, and sometimes by barge. There are 96,000 jobs associated with the port. That's really good for our local economy. Now you can see how the port and the mining community are connected with not just each other, but so many other industries, such as agriculture, medicine, and technology. If you want to learn more about the Port of Vancouver and the mining industry, the different terminals and the transportation connection, go to our website, portvancouver.com, or we also have a discovery center located at Canada Place.